All right, one more conversation about faceting. So faceting and fluting, the idea is to create a design, not just a smooth surface. You're not, yes, you're thinning out the walls, but the main thing you're doing is thinning out the walls in a way that is visually interesting. So this is a really nice example, um, just a fired piece that's, it's actually been thrown, but the fluting that they've done here is nice. It's very even. It kind of comes along at, a, at an angle. Now I've got other, um, I've got, we've got a bunch of tools that you can use. So um, you've been using the, uh, I've been mentioning the large loop tool. And if you use that, let me see if I can do this backwards. If you use that, you can cut out flutes that go straight or sideways. Um, and that, that'll be just fine. If you have the small loop tool from that kit, you can do this, but beware, this is not going to cut you out nearly as much clay. And so you're going to have to be working in, in, it has to already be thinner for you to work with this. Now, um, throwing kits come with, um, this tool um, usually has a round and a straight edge, and you can use these, um, and that's probably what was used on my example piece, but you can also uh, fake these, and I wanted to show you a couple options for that. So one is um, a paper clip. Uh, so a paper clip has a loop at the end. Um, this is just a piece of wire that was hand bent. It's not got much of a handle, um, but it can do the same thing, cuts a nice big loop out of there. Um, this is a handmade one um, that one of my students made years ago, um, and he actually made it out of um, street sweeper wire. So these bristles come off the street sweeper. The street sweeper went by the other day, and I was like, oh, great, I'm going to get some tools. And I've simply folded it, and let's see, I'm going to do a couple of nice cuts over here. And the nice thing about this one is that it is... That's the street sweeper. It's uh, flat, um, so the way it cuts is kind of slick. Um, they also sell them, so you know this one came with your kit. You can buy things like that. This is a slightly bigger one from Kemper Tools. They come with different shapes and things like that. This one is um, shoot uh, Zebra Tools, I think it's called, um, uh, but I can get you the name of the tools. This one is uh, one you would have to buy specifically. Um, but it's actually one of the reasons people like it is, let me get a big space here, you can do some lines that vary in thickness by pushing more or less in there. So you can kind of see that. I didn't do a great job of getting it out of there. Um, one of the things you'll also notice in all of these is when you're cutting those lines, you're going to end up with a little rough edge. My recommendation is cut it and then let it dry a little bit more so it's a little past leather hard before you try to go back in and clean it up. If you try to clean them up right now, you're gonna end up smushing stuff um, and, and possibly closing up that line. If you wait a little while, it'll be a little easier to just wipe that scridgy stuff off um, with like a dry sponge or with your fingers. Thanks.